Stephanie here with another Bibliophilus video and today is my May wrap up and part of my June TBR. So in the month of May I read a grand total of 10 books. Now some of these books were only a few pages because it was part of my Bible reading so all in all the novels that I counted I read a grand total of 2,529 pages ish. But I'm super proud of that, super happy about that, and I kind of don't know what I'm going to read next, so I'm going to be figuring that out. Um, so let's get started with what I read. So the first book that I read was actually an audiobook. It was The Magician by Michael Scott, and um, that one was very good. Also, obviously, I didn't really couldn't really calculate how many pages it was. I would guesstimate it was about 300 or so, or somewhat. Um, but it was a very good book. It was the second book in the Alchemist series, um, the Nicol Nicholas Flamel series, whatever you want to call it. But it was really good. It was super cute. Um, it was a continuation story, so I'm not going to tell you a lot about it. But it was really good and worth listening slash reading. Um, the next book that I read was, uh, actually the next two books that I read were two books in my Bible. First one being Ecclesiastes and the second one being Song of Solomon. Both of them were pretty good. I gave Ecclesiastes five stars and Song of Solomon three stars. Both of them were pretty good. I gave both of them five stars. Then the next book that I read was Children of Blood and Bone by Tony Adeyemi. This was a fabulous, fabulous book. I absolutely loved it. It was different from what I normally read. To listen to the audiobook is amazing. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. Can't wait to get my hands on the next book. Five stars, definitely. So, I don't know if this was her debut novel. But if it was, it was amazing. And if it wasn't, I'm getting my hands on the other ones. The next book that I read was Daughter to the Pirate King by Tricia Levenseller. I know I butchered that name, but sorry about that. So this book was extremely, extremely good. We have our main character, who's right on the cover here, Alosa. And she is half human, half siren, which you find out in the first couple pages. And she is obviously daughter to the Pirate King. And her job is to find a piece of a map that will lead them to a lot of treasure. So chaos ensues and wonderfulness happens. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to be said that I read that. Also, I did get the second book, so I will be reading that fairly soon. Also, gave that a five stars. The next book that I read, Storm Siren by Mary Weber. Very good book. Don't know why it took me so long to read this book. It was a very, very, very good book. So I don't know why it took me forever, but love this book. Love the concept of it. It was a different young adult book that I normally would kind of stay away from, but this book was fabulous. Five stars. The next book was a definitely an auto read person for me, and that was Kathy Reichs, but um, with along with Brendan writes, and this is Seizures. This is her young adult series. This also was about pirates. So it definitely, I had a theme going on between pirates and sirens and everything, and treasures and everything like that. So I read this, loved, loved, loved it. And I absolutely love the color. It's so shiny. But this is the second book again in the viral series. Super good. I want to get my hands on it. Five stars. Okay, this book might be a little controversial for some people, but let's take a moment and sip some coffee. Anyways, this book, I normally, I like the first two. This one I had issues with, and that is Dreams of God and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. It wasn't that it was bad. It was, I didn't like how it ended. It ended good, but it wasn't a I didn't get some certain aspects that were added in that were like, why did this get added in? It seems like you're just trying to fill more pages of this 600 page book. So I didn't get that. So I am going to do some research on it and try to figure out why they, she did that. So, so I gave it a three stars. I wanted to give it less, but I did like 
the characters and everything still, so I did give it three. And then as I go along, I am collecting these because they're heavy. Um, well, not because they're heavy, but they're wonderful. And it is Harry Potter, the Chamber of Secrets. See? Secrets, treasures. I had a thing going on this May. So this one, the Chamber of Secrets, this is obviously the illustrated edition. And it is, oh, of course, I open a page up to where it's nothing. There. It is gorgeous. This is Diagon Alley, if you didn't know that. Um, this is just, I love this. And the cool part is, it's my favorite color. It's orange. And I think Chamber of Secrets was my favorite one because you get the newness worn off. You get to jump into it right away. Chaos starts ensuing and it was wonderful. And then the last book I read was Isaiah, another book of my Bible. My goal was to read six of them, but I only got to three. That was pretty good. Um, I didn't enjoy that one very well either, so <clears throat> I gave it a three stars. Um, and yeah, so it was okay. But that is it. That is what I read in the month of May. Let me know what you guys think down below. And also, um... I now have an Instagram page now. Well, me and Seth do. It is called A Bibliophobes 2 because someone took the first name. Whatever. But anyways, I will link that in the description below. And if you want, give me a follow. I will be posting when everything new is coming out. I'll I post videos on there every now and then just because sometimes like little tidbit videos they're a lot easier to post on there than doing like a complete video vlog which I've been trying to master the vlog and it's not really been happening very well so yeah so I've been trying but it's just I go to edit everything and it's just awful ah uh, it's just it's just horrible so yeah let me know what you guys think and definitely follow me on Instagram because that would be amazing. Oh yeah, what I'm going to be reading in June, I really don't know. I have no clue what I'm going to be reading because I'm reading a couple books at a time. I definitely want to get into the Outlander series because now it's on Netflix. Yes, um, so I'm going to be reading that and I have been staying away from anything on Instagram and Pinterest and Facebook and everything so I don't really know anything about the series. That was hard by the way. Let us pick something from a box. Ooh, I kind of already picked it already, so I could have the book ready. But there's only two left in there, and I don't know how that happened. So I got to obviously put more in there. I think it was I donated some books, and so I took them out, obviously. But the book that is this month, The 100-Year-Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared, by Jonas Jonason. Other than what the cover says, I have no clue what this is about. So this is definitely going to be an interesting thing to read. It's not a very long book. It's about 400 pages long. So I'm very curious to start getting into this and start reading it. So this is definitely one that I'm going to be finishing in June. I am going to try to do a vlog through June again. I've only done like one vlog. I hopefully will have at least some interesting things this year. Um, <clears throat> June is kind of a busy month for me because I just started another job, so I'm working six days a week, so it is a little bit harder to do interesting things for vlogs that's not just waking up, going to work, waking up, going to work, but whatever. So, and so then, it, obviously, what I'm currently reading is this book today. We're going to see how far I can get into it. So, other than that, guys, I will catch you all in the next video. So until that time, this is an Abibliophobe signing off. Bye. This is a Abibli...